Good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Got to give a big shout out to Miss Ellen. Congratulations on your retirement from Shiner, Texas. Headed down to Mexico. Please get some white sand between your toes and drink something with a silly little umbrella in it for me. Now, Brianna Taylor, Brianna Taylor, Brianna Taylor. I hope that this is the last video I have to make about that poor girl. Now, everybody agrees it's fucked up that she died that way. She should not have been killed for whatever she was involved in. Okay? She shouldn't have died that night. But to say that her death was rooted in racism is fucking reckless and stupid. Some might even say retarded. So, no charges for homicide or manslaughter or negligent homicide or anything like that are being brought against the three officers who were involved, nor should there be. This was brought before a grand jury. Now, a grand jury is the jury that is sequestered to see whether or not a case should go to trial. Is there enough evidence to go to trial? Then at the trials where you get into the, the regular jury that we're all familiar with, the 12 people. The grand jury is made up of 23. And they have access to witnesses and evidence. So they can talk to people. They can see the crime scene photos. They can go to the crime scene. They can do whatever they need to to make their decision. The grand jury is made up of regular everyday people. It's not made up of cops from the department in question. None of that shit. 23 regular people brought together to look through this case to see should it go to trial. Now, do you really think that the powers that be, all the people investigating, doing the reports, checking the evidence, do you not think that they went with the letter of the law? They followed every single fucking point that they were supposed to, every rule, every regulation. You know they had somebody breathing down their neck. You know they had morning meeting after fucking morning meeting to make sure that they didn't blow this. Every piece of evidence, every drop of blood, every shell casing was gone through with a fine tooth comb to make sure that they didn't fuck this up. To make sure that they're, they're not responsible for kicking off another riot. You know they got anybody with any questions of any any history of any questionable comments. You might we thought maybe once back in 2001 you made an off-color joke. All those people were removed from the building. They had only the best and only the boys and girl scouts of their departments working on this shit. Because nobody is above this woke culture. Team owners, business owners, heads of state, police chiefs, whoever. You can all be eaten by this woke mob. No one is safe. So it's not like, well, they'll just brush it under the rug. No. If anybody did anything wrong, you better believe they are going to get fucked up. Their lives will be destroyed. Knowing all this... I'm sure they went through this the proper way. Saw all the evidence, talked to all the witnesses. Those same witnesses that told them that they heard the cops knock on the door and announce themselves. They didn't, it wasn't a no-knock warrant. They didn't just kick in the door at 2 a.m. and start spraying because they knew Negroes were inside. That's a fucking lie. It's not the truth. She was not sleeping in her bed. They were both awake in the hallway. If you want to pin this on somebody, you want somebody to be responsible, go talk to her boyfriend who fired through the door at the police. Talk to him. He kicked it off. 
Now, the officer who's getting in trouble for, what do they call it, wanton disregard. And if you heard uh, Charlemagne the God on a donkey of the day, this motherfucker said wanton disregard. Are we ordering lunch or are we talking about this fucking Breonna Taylor case? Wontons have nothing to do with this, you idiot. Then, of course, he's crying all oh, black people. They're not safe in America. And if I didn't have my Second Amendment right, I would never. He said never. He said he would never feel safe in America. Shut your rich ass the fuck up. You don't have, you don't have nothing to worry about. Oh, black, we just want justice. Who the fuck is we? Is your last name Taylor? Stop this fucking group think. This monolithic mindset. We are not all the same. I'm not hurt on a personal level by the death of Breonna Taylor. Nor would she be if she heard that I died. You know why? It's not because we're, we're black and we should be connected. It's because I don't fucking know her. People die every day. I'm not going to be broken up by somebody that died thousands of miles away that I don't know. That's just life. There isn't this nationwide black meeting where we all get in two opposite facing lines and shake hands and meet each other. This shit don't happen. I don't know her, so I'm not going to cry over her death. I'm not going to feel connected to her case in some way. Stop that bullshit. It makes us look weak. It makes us the Fabergé eggs of ethnicities. That is garbage. We are not unsafe in this country. Stop believing that shit. We're not living in fear. Nobody else has control over your life. Nobody's keeping you down. Why would you believe that? I was talking to my brother not too long ago, and I asked him, why are people able to come here from other countries, blacker than me and you, and be successful? He said, because they don't care. They don't care about what people think. They don't care about this fucking narrative. They don't care that they're supposed to be afraid of the cops. They have a focus to accomplish their goal. That's it. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. If we don't share an address, you can kiss my ass. I got a family to worry about. That's my focus. That's their focus. They don't give a damn about Reverend so-and-so telling them that they should be scared. Some overpaid fucking agent for China telling you that you are scared to go out in public. You're scared of the cops. LeBron, you bitch. They don't care about that shit. They're not here for that. They're here to work and be successful. You can keep that other shit for somebody else. We need to do the same. Don't tie us all together because something happened to this black person far away. Somehow it makes me cry in my fucking Fruit Loops. No. Stop believing that all we are are downtrodden people who were brought here to be slaves and be whipped. That's a bunch of bullshit too. People brought over here as slaves from Africa were not only a bunch of cotton picking sharecroppers getting beat by Massa. A lot of them were indentured servants who had a level of respect in their life, who had families and property and homes. They were intelligent. They had skills. They were blacksmiths. They worked in the docks. They were engineers. They built shit. Stop buying into this bullshit narrative that you are just a bunch of sorry ass slaves who are just beat and kicked by white people and you just can't seem to get back on your feet. That is a mother fucking lie we are descended from from the kind of people that everybody's from dis descended from all kinds of different people not just slaves they did everything black folks back then did everything just like everybody else now were there laws in place up until the civil rights movement specifically tailored to give up to, to fuck us over yes yet and still we succeeded with those laws in place they always tell you about the uh the black wall street and how it got burned down see people were still successful in the midst of that shit real racism 
real discrimination. You can't come through this door. In the middle of that, they were still successful. They were still entrepreneurs. They were still inventors. Not a bunch of fucking Kunta Kintes. That was a small portion. Black folks owned slaves too. They weren't just slaves. Get that bullshit out of your mind. They were successful in the middle of it. The thick of it. They were successful. So what the fuck is our excuse now? 50, 60, 70 years removed from that. What's our excuse now? Every opportunity in the fucking world right here. And you crying about some girl. It was unfortunate. Unless your last name is Taylor, straighten the fuck up and get back to work. Oh, stupid ass bullshit. No, Breonna Taylor, I'm so sad. I got a burn shit. What is your problem? You don't know that, girl. You're an over-emotional piece of shit who misses your daddy. That's why you're out there acting like a fucking child. Dads need to go out there. Get your belts in the back of your hands and load up and head to these fucking riots and straighten these fools out. Hand out some hugs and some ass whoopings. This shit will be over in two hours. That's the problem. The family. But Jericho, it's more complicated. No, it's not. Fix the family. Fix the problem. The most successful people in this country have the most intact nuclear families. You think that's a kawinky dink? No. But you got people across the country acting like a bunch of fucking fools over something that if they took 30 40 seconds maybe to Google, they'd be like, oh, these weren't a bunch of bloodthirsty racist cops just shooting through doors at sleeping Negroes. They had a warrant. They were executing three other warrants across the city because they had been watching her and listening to her and there was illicit activity in her apartment. Thank her boyfriend for that too. Why is nobody bringing up the one who fired the first shot? Bullshit, you thought that was her boyfriend. Who knocks on the door before they come in to do some violent shit? Murderers here, open up. No. If you're coming in to harm somebody, you're not going to knock on the door. Take the time to do a little bit of research. Stop this over-emotional bullshit. You're going to get somebody fucked up. Two cops got shot. There's a video of a dude hitting a cop in the back of the head with a bat. Thank God the cop had a helmet on. Or his ass would either be dead or parking up front in the blue spots for the rest of his fucking life. All because of this <laughs> Antifa bitch can't face him like a man. You're going to run up and hit somebody in the back of the head. I think they call that attempted murder. You little fucker, they'll find you. Your dumb ass will walk in front of a store, take your mask off. They'll see you on a security camera. It's a wrap. Next thing you know, you won't be able to stand up without shit falling out because you're going to get stretched out in the booty house. My goodness, man. How sad is that? The mayor had to declare a state of emergency before they read the fucking grand jury's results. Because they knew these fools were going to get out there and act fucking stupid. Man, what the fuck, man? What happened? Find me the Theo Huxtable that is gunned down mercilessly by racist white cops and I'll be right there with you. But that guy doesn't exist because that guy follows the law. He doesn't sell drugs and he doesn't have interactions with the police. Damn it. Will they ever find somebody like that? Because all the ones that keep trotting out here to be celebrated and rioted for are fucking crooks. She was an EMT. Man, I'm so sick and tired of that shit. She got fired in 2017 because they found a dead person in her car that she rented in 2016. That's three years ago. All right? I can sit up here and tell you I'm a Boy Scout. I haven't been one since I was eight years old, but I got a picture of it. 
I'm surprised they don't put their fucking newborn pictures up there. Look what they killed. He was just an innocent little baby. Now put a recent picture up there. This shit is ridiculous. You fucking this country up for somebody who doesn't even deserve a snippet on national news. This should have been a local story. This should have gone no farther than Louisville, Kentucky. But they're fucking shit up Oakland, New York, all across the country. Like you give a fuck. You don't care? If you cared, you would be acting outraged before this shit happened. When the children are getting shot. When the innocent people are getting shot. Never mind the motherfuckers out there shooting the first shot. These are just innocent people going on about their day getting blasted. Where's the outrage for them? Huh? Oh, your fucking airbrush t-shirt? That's going to help? All these fools out here talking shit. Oh, I'm going to, oh, say her name. All right, I said it. Now what? You're still dying. Number one cause of death for someone my age is someone that looks like me, but I said her name. Now what? Okay, I put some other criminal's name on the back of my shirt. Now what? I blacked out my Instagram. Now what? Nothing, because I ain't doing shit. You had, I'm going to put a, a link in the description box of this bullshit video of Jimmy Kimmel and Anthony Anderson at the fucking Emmys. I know, nobody even knew. But they had the Emmy Awards, I think, on Sunday. And because of the sweet and sour sniffles, nobody was allowed to go. So it's these two dildos up on stage. So Jimmy Kimmel brings them out. You know Jimmy Kimmel, the man who cries every other fucking day? So he brings Anthony Anderson out, and he goes... This year, we have the most black nominees ever. Oh, Jimmy, this is the part where white people clap. And Jimmy goes, oh, he starts clapping. And then he goes, and nod. Ooh. So he starts nodding his head. He's playing the fucking, the stupid white cuck. So he goes on with this bullshit monologue. And he's all, this should have been like All-Star Weekend. You know what I'm saying? This should have been like, like, like Howard Homecoming. And uh, Jimmy Kimmel keeps going, oh, uh, actually, uh, Anthony, man. And he just starts talking over, like, shut the fuck up. And he keeps going. Uh, instead of uh, something, some shit, I'm here trying not to sneeze with the llama in here. For some reason, I guess it was a llama in there or something. You'll see on the video. Then he goes, oh, uh, actually, Anthony, it's an alpaca. And he's like, well, it should be a pit bull. This should have been like, like hot sauce in your purse fun. Like all this shit. So... You have a platform to sit up there and talk for black folks, whatever the fuck that means. And you reduce us to hot sauce, all-star weekend, and pit bulls. Are you for real? Like uh, Joe Biden said when he was trying to say the Pledge of Allegiance. For real. Are you for real? This is your time to shine. And you get up there and reduce us to a fucking DMX video. That's how we know these fools aren't serious. Hot sauce. What do you say? Uh, you fit. This should have been. You fit the description black. So that's what you reduced us to. Criminals, ass shaking, and cookouts. Man, fuck you. We are more than that. But nobody else is going to believe that until we do. Do some fucking homework and realize what kind of people you really come from. Now let me get, get home with my beautiful wife and kids. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.